Good evening, everybody. It's Patsy from Patsy's Crochet. Um, I started doing the C2C in my Sparkle Red yarn, and it was too bright when I went to look at the video. So I don't think you'd be able to see my stitches, especially the beginners. So I'm going to start off with this one. I'm using a brunette satin, or sorry, um, Red Heart Soft, and a number five millimeter crochet hook. And there's our knot. So I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see this one a little bit better. Okay, what we're gonna do, that's a big, we wanna keep a tail, but not, you don't need that big of a tail. <laughs> that's enough to sew in at the end. Or your border can take care of it. Okay, so what I want you to do, or would like you to do, is do, um, now I won't be able to do a full size blanket but I'm hoping to do like just as a big square like for a pillow just the front part of the pillow for you so that way you learn how to change colors and to decrease okay so tonight we're going to start with this color and this color is oh where are you little ball uh, red heart soft and it is in the color sea foam okay and then maybe tomorrow we'll go do a darker color or a lighter color I don't know yet it all depends if you guys can see this one <laughs> okay we're gonna chain six one two three four five six and then you're gonna do a double crochet into the fourth from the chain uh, fourth chain so one two three four One double crochet in each stitch. Second double crochet. You know, just take your time and do it for the beginners. It might look intimidating, but it ain't. I promise you. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do is chain six more. One, two, three, four, five, six and then go into the double crochet into the fourth so one two three and four one double crochet in there second in the second stitch or next stitch sorry and your last double crochet in that space now it looks like this what I want you to do is flip your work on this side so it meets like that okay and then you're going to do a slip stitch into that chain spot. Remember that three that we did? You're going to slip stitch, yarn over, go through, and just go through that little. And then you're building it, okay? So one, two, three, chain three, three double crochets into this one. So that's two and three it's going to look a little spacey but not to worry you can pull it all together now you're going to chain six one two three four five six you're going to do a double crochet into the fourth one two three four and do your first double crochet so one go into your next stitch oops two oh, piece of my hair <laughs> and your last stitch double crochet now you're gonna flip your work again just like that so it meets that that space that we did three chain you're gonna slip stitch just like that and I see a piece of hair again this problem with long hair one two three chains and then you do three double crochets into that same space okay and then you're going to slip stitch into that next one so it's like you're building steps and ladders I call it one two three double crochet three times into that same space I'm doing it big enough so hopefully you guys can see the space. 
so then you know what I'm talking about. And then you can just push it back over after. And then you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to do a double crochet into the fourth. One, two, three, four. One double crochet into that one. Double crochet into the next one. And my yarn is going tight again. So that's two. And one more double crochet into this space okay now what you're going to do is flip your work so it meets in that space that we just did that's where you're going to do your slip stitch you're going and that's all you do so one two three chains and then three double crochets into that same space one two three. Got some more yarn. Slip stitch in your next one. See how you're building it? One, two, three. And you're going to do three double crochets into the same space. One, two, and three. I hope I'm explaining this right for the beginners and for other people that want to learn. Well, beginners, yeah. One, two, three, and then three double crochets into your last brick or step or ladder. <laughs> and then I got another piece of hair. Lovely. Oh. Okay, so let's grab some more yarn. Grab my hair over there. Oh my heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're doing six chains. You're going to do a double crochet into the fourth. So one, two, three, four. One double crochet. Two double crochets. And three double crochets. Okay, and then what you're going to do is flip your work. Oops. So you're going to flip it like that. See how it looks? It's really pretty once it's done. Um, I did start the blanket with the red, like I said, the sparkling, but it was, you wouldn't be able to see the stitches. So I hope that you can see the stitches in this one. Okay, so in that chain, you're going to do a slip stitch. And then chain three, one, two, three and do three double crochets into that same one, two, and three. Okay, and then you're going to do a slip stitch into this one. One, two, three, and do three double crochets. One, two, and three slip stitch in your next one. See how you're going up? One, two, three, sorry, three double crochets into this one. One, two, and my yarn. Why? Two. Oh, heavens. <laughs> so tired tonight. I had a hard week. <laughs> oh. So one, two, three, and three double crochets. See how fast it's growing? It's a really fast project. Let me, let me get some more yarn here. Okay, now we're gonna do six more chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, double crochet into the fourth from the, ch the chain, one, two, and three, and then you're going to flip your work, and 
and you go slip stitch into that one. One, two, oh, uh, and three. Just connects all your work when you do a slip stitch. One, two, so relaxing. Just relaxing. Three. Slip stitch into your next one. Chain three. Just take your time. I know you can do it. You really can. For all the beginners out there, I know it might look intimidating, but if you can do a double crochet and slip stitch, you should be able to do it. S slip stitch, chain three, and do three double crochets. You'll feel the reward after you're done, honestly. And if you give this to someone for Christmas, they're going to love it. Homemade things are always the best thing to give. So now you're going to slip stitch into that one and do three chains and one, two. Oh, I hope my hands ain't going off the page. Three. It wouldn't be my day if it did. <laughs> one, two, three. I have to get some more yarn here. And you're going to do, oh, see how I did that mistake there? Let's pull it out. And I slip stitch in the wrong one, so you have to go into that, that space and slip stitch. What now? Okay. Slip stitch. One, two, three, and do three double crochets. One, and two. And three. And chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Do a double crochet. The next one, double crochet. And double crochet. This really helps calm you down, relax, watch a good movie. Just for the beginners out there, just watch your, your, your stitching. Sometimes I just put a TV show on, I don't even watch it, and I just crochet. As long as there's sound at the back, I'm fine. Sometimes you can just pay attention. If you've already seen the movie, then you already know what's going on, right? <laughs> but I sometimes I just drawn it out and just crochet. Slip stitch, chain three. And then double crochet. It it's a fast um, pattern and blanket. Like you can do a shawl with this one. One day I think I'll do that with you. But right now it's a little winter time, and I know you could do a winter shawl, but I want to do this one. And then I got a new project I started. I uh, remember when I was 13, I did something a nice blanket. But I won't show you until I get uh, the one part done. And that would probably be after um, Ophelia Talks. Uh, Wednesday is the last one for that. And then I wanted to do this blanket and I got that shawl to finish. Oh, oh, see? I'm not paying attention. I'm busy talking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Slip stitch. There you go. Chain three. Now three double crochets. Oops. I think I make my stitches too big. Yep. Okay. Now you're gonna slip stitch into the next. See it, it just grows. It's such a beautiful pattern. You turn it both ways. So I thought we'll do this color tonight and we'll do another color tomorrow. It'll probably be probably the same time tomorrow. Two and three. Okay, slip stitch. Two, three. 
Okay. So I'm gonna do some more with you. And then we're gonna tomorrow we're gonna do probably white. And then um, I'm going to show you how to change the color. And then if we get that far up on both sides, then we're going to start decreasing on this side. And I'll show you that because you're going to need stitch markers for that one, okay, for the beginners. So you're going to chain six. One, oops, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to double crochet into the fourth. One, two, three, four. Just like that. It's a pretty easy pattern. No stitch. Just take your time and be so happy when you're done. Okay. Alright. I feel like I'm off the page. I hope not. Three and three double crochets into here. Okay, into that space you're gonna slip stitch. One, two, three, and then you're gonna do three double crochets. My heavens, I have a problem with yarn. <laughs> makes three. It grows pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Two, three, and chain, uh, double crochet three times. Get some more yarn here. Slip stitch into your next one. I see your ladders or steps are building up. Two, three. One, two, three. And you're gonna do three double crochets. Oh, heavens, I gotta get more yarn here. This is, okay. <laughs> oh. One. Two and three. Slip stitch. One, two, three. And you're going to do three double crochets. Slip stitch. One, two, three. If I'm going too fast, just slow down the video. There's a little button where you can do it. Two, three, four, five, six. And go into the fourth chain and do a double crochet. One, two, three. And then you're going to turn your work. And then you're going to slip stitch in here. This will be my last row for tonight. And then tomorrow we'll continue on with a different color. One, two, three. <clears throat> two double crochets and three double crochets. And then you're going to slip stitch into your next chain three. And then do three double crochets into this spot. Clean space. It's looking pretty. I like the color. Okay, slip stitch in your next one. One, two, three, and three double crochets. Oops. Into there. Oh, there goes my yarn again. Why, Lord? <laughs> okay. Slip stitch. 
See, it looks really pretty. Sometimes I, I can't sleep at night or I'll get up and crochet. But I started something new last night, so I hope that after I get part of it done, I can show you. And if you want a tutorial made of it, we can do a tutorial. But right now we're going to work on this. And then I got, I want to do another yarn and crochet talk. One, two, three. And then we're going to like this. Three double crochets. It gets faster after a while. Okay. And then we'll do our last one for the night. We're going to slip stitch into there. And you're going to do chain three, two, three, and three double crochets. Okay, we'll leave it like that for the night. And then it'll be ready for tomorrow. And I'll get another color and I'll show you how to change. There. Just leave enough loop. Okay. Well, I thank you guys for joining me today, um, tonight, actually both, I did that uh, yarn unboxing from Mary Maxim, I hope you enjoyed that one, and this tutorial, it's going to be um, two or three days, and then we'll have like a little, it could be tomorrow too, we could do a little, um, I can take, blah, blah, sorry, <laughs> I'm tired, um, we could do the whole thing tomorrow night if you want, uh, the two colors, um, or we could just do a patch um, every night, and then we'll be done hopefully by a third, and then I can show you how to do a border, um, or you can use it as a pillow or whatever, which, whatever you want. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go to sleep now because I am very tired, uh, very exhausted and weak. Um, but it ended up to be such the last three days, such a blessing. Thank you for all my new subscribers again. And thank you, Alison Russell, for everything. I love you all. I love you too, Alison, too. God bless you all. Good night. See you tomorrow.